Hey guys, I wanted to take a quick video to show you um, what I got going on here and what the current state is. Um, so you can see I've got the layout done for all the board components. Um, it makes it pretty easy to install actually. It's, uh, it's all laser cut, holes are all there. Then it also has guidelines where you should line everything up and uh, some text where the parts should go. Um, in the front here we have the uh, Galvo driver boards. Um, you can see there's a couple of pot uh, potential potentiometers here on the board um, so you really only want to adjust this one and this one these control the X and Y size uh, that'll be how fine your resolution is over whatever whatever it is so if you have those set to max you'll be doing that, like the 100 millimeter by 100 millimeter at uh, I don't remember the resolution whatever 16 bit comes out at otherwise you can shrink that down and get 16 bits over smaller but so these are that's how you'll adjust that so it's easy to get to those um, here you can see I have the laser cut uh, iris and laser mount, 150 milliwatt laser, and the zero aperture iris. Um, so it's again easy, easy to adjust here um, from whichever side you're coming from. Um, the two uh, actual galvos here, the uh, X and Y axis. You can see they got the little mirrors there, so the laser comes out, hit the mirrors, hits the mirrors, and then um, this, this here is the uh, the mount for the the mirror. I don't have the mirror attached right now because it's easier to to work when it's not there, but Anyways, it's a nice perfect 45 degrees so the mirror sits there. Uh, again, easy to install here, just it bolts on. Um, let's see, I'll show you the... Oh, okay. This was the first iteration of the control board. There's New ones are coming, this is what I'm waiting on for all the kits. Um, but this was the first iteration. Um, but from the bottom here, let's see if we can see what I got going on there. So a power supply mounts in the bottom, uh, makes it nice and clean, out of the way. Uh, it's a 24 volt supply down there. Uh, you can see all the holes for all the other mounts. Uh, it's really easy to install here. I have uh, the two two pieces you need to install: a screwdriver and a T uh, 2.5 Allen wrench. You might need one other one other Allen wrench if you don't want to use your fingers for a few parts. But really, that's that's about it. It's it's quick to install. Um, Z axis here. You can see the loose screw with the flange, the, uh, the laser cut uh, mount here that I had to make to get the uh, flange to stick on there. Um, here, if you're, in case you're wondering what this is, this is uh, for a hinged axis mount. Uh, I saw another guy who, who had done this and it seemed like it worked pretty well. So I, I built this here so it actually slides in and uh, I don't have the other side installed right now, but there's just like there's this linear guide here, there's a linear guide on this side. Uh, similar axis set up on both sides so that you raise one side and the other side will raise so it actually gives you the, the tilting uh, without having a tilting vat. Uh, speaking of the vat, this here is the uh, build platform I was working on. So it's bigger, it's more sturdy, and it's uh, made from steel with uh, the hole. So it should should cut down on suction and just uh, overall it will give us, I think, a better, better part sticking but less vat sticking, which is what you want. Um, the other thing I want to show you, so if I can put this on while I'm here, is the uh, top platform. Kind of dirty right now. I just stuck it in there, but uh, so anyways, th this this part here it has uh, mounts for the stepper motors, um, one on each side, and there's a hole here where the uh, the uh, end stop goes for the Z axis. Um, let's see if I can get this a little better. Sorry, I apologize. I'm trying to do, trying to do this with one hand and take the video. So. Not easy. Okay. So anyway, it'll it'll fit more like that than the uh, here's the uh, coupler for the axis. So anyways, the motors are on both sides. They turn, um, and this is it, kind of from a further out view. So this is the updated uh, OpenSL model. I think it, overall you'll be a lot happier with the way it's turning out. Um, it's costing me a lot more to put together. I'm not going to charge you guys any more for it, but. Uh, I think overall it'll make for a better printer. So that's it right now. Um, I don't have the the vat or the vat mounts on here because I I found somebody to make us much better vats. Um, it's a, actually a somebody who makes fish tanks. It's a fish tank store. They're going to make us uh, a vat, and I think I'm going to use the laser cutter here um, to cut us out a square on the bottom from the vat. So the vat will actually be bigger like this. So you can, but then I'm going to cut out the inside and lay glass in the middle. I think so you get less. Uh, uh, less distortion when the laser hits the bottom of the acrylic because it'll be a thinner glass 
and uh, overall I think it'll just make for a better platform. Um, so that's it. That's uh, the quick view. I wanted to show you it real quick. Um, really easy to put together and uh, just overall I'm real happy with the way it's turning out. So um, things will probably be a little delayed because I've done a complete redesign on the printer. Um, but I think overall you'll be happy that I did this because you're getting a better, you're going to be getting a better printer for it. But uh, I'll show you more when I get it all hooked up and set up. But I'm uh, pretty excited about the, the state of things. So I wanted to send this off so you knew I was working. Um, any other questions? Just let me know. Thanks. Bye.